Hello and welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. I'm Nameco sitting here with Dustin. All-Star Week is almost upon us for your fantasy baseball season. Dustin, give him a quick tip. It's right around the corner, but one thing you need to pay very close attention to is if your league has minimum or maximum innings pitched for your pitchers. Obviously, if things change during All-Star Week because it's a short week. You need to find out what those settings are. Should be on the league overview or somewhere in the settings or ask your commissioner if you can't find it. But a lot of times you can exploit these settings, so just pay very close attention to it, figure out what it is, and exploit it if you can. Let's move into the waiver wire. Brent, give us some pictures. The first one we're going to start with is Clayton Richards of the San Diego Padres, owning 60% of leagues. Now last night he got blown up by the Woeful Nationals, but prior to that, 8 out of his last 10 starts were quality starts. He's a young pitcher, decent K counts, worth an ad in probably deeper leagues and at least keeping an eye on. Next we have Gavin Floyd. Now this guy's been pitching out of his mind. He's only owned 65% of leagues. He's had six straight quality starts and in five of those, he's given up zero or one earned run. So definitely a guy that should be added all leagues, all formats. And the last pitcher we're gonna talk about is a relief pitcher and that's Jason Mott. Now we've touched base on him, I think about one or two weeks ago on our show, just because Ryan Franklin, what, you know, where he's pitching good right now, but he had a terrible game the other night, so they might want to bring in the young guy Mott, because Mott has been pitching great. It could be a closer battle discussion. It's good to stay on top of these things early. All right, let's move into the hitters. I'm going to start with a couple of infielders for you, and the first guy is Eric Ibar, only owning 55% of leagues. You know, he was starting to catch fire a couple of weeks ago. We thought he was a good ad at that point, but then he got hurt. But now he's healthy again, nine game hit streak, raises average 12 points during that time. If you all need a shortstop, could be a good addition. Another guy, Clint Barmas, uh, second base and shortstop eligibility, which is a huge plus. Only on a 50% of the leagues, 13 game hit streak right now, raises average 32 points. I mean, obviously with that position eligibility and the potential to bat for average, could be a nice addition to any team. Moving on, we got Coco Crisp out there in Oakland. Looks like he's going to be there every day. Center fielder, only on 10% of leagues. Could definitely be a good steal specialist for you. He's not probably going to bat for the best average, but could be a good boost in steals if you need help in that category. And the last guy we're going to talk about is Matt Laporta out there in Cleveland. First base and outfield eligibility, only on 20% of leagues. You know, you all probably heard of this guy, a youngster with a big upside. Hasn't really panned out just yet, but four home runs in the last week. Starting to get that stroke going. You know, must add and keeper in dynasty type leagues, but definitely a guy worth keeping an eye on. Let's move into the forums. We've got a couple questions here. The first one comes from Why Can't It Be 1983? He wants to know, should he trade Halliday, Prado, and Delman Young for Josh Johnson, David Wright, and Josh Hamilton? So you got a pitcher, third base, outfielder for pitcher, third base, outfielder. And he also said he has Lincecum and Felix Hernandez as his other pitchers. Well, that makes it a no-brainer. Pull the trigger. You already have two aces on your staff. The downgrade from Halliday to Josh Johnson isn't that great, although it certainly is a downgrade. And then you're going to be getting back Hamilton and David Wright. Now, these guys are proven players that have done it before, so you know we think that they should be the ones that you're adding to your team. Now, we want to preface this, though. Prado and Young are having good seasons, and we think they could keep it up. It's just that they're a little bit more of a gamble. So, like we said, go Go ahead, feel confident, pull the trigger. Pull that trigger! <laughs> Alright Dustin, <laughs> next we got a question from JXR29, he's in a dynasty league, so he wants to know should he be giving up Carlos Santana, the young rookie catcher, and Gallardo, and in return he'd get your boy Joe Maurer and Phil Hughes. Well here's the thing, I mean Santana, yes, great young catcher, could be good, but it's a huge gamble, and you're getting the best catcher in the league in return. Maurer's still a young guy, he's going to be on your team for many years to come. Gallardo's a great young pitcher, but so is Hughes, so I mean, you know, who knows, Hughes could actually end up being a better pitcher in the long term. I say it's a much safer bet to get Joe Maurer, you know, Santana, rookie catcher, you just never know. Go ahead and pull that trigger. And he's not being biased. He's a Twins fan, but he's never biased when it comes to fantasy. No, you can't. Got to leave that to the side. <laughs> well, that's it for this week's show. As always, get into those uh, football games. Sign up. It's just around the corner. Our ranking shows are just around the corner as well. Uh, also, get in the forums. I'm Dustin. This is Brent. We'll see you next week.